Today's episode of The Chop Shop is brought to you by our good folks over at Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code THECHOPSHOP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using the code THECHOPSHOP. Yeah. You hear it. Welcome to The Chop Shop. I am Eddie James. Next to me is my brother from another mother. Fastest hands in all the tri state. God damn it. DJ React. Yes, sir. We're here. And man, oh man. Do we got a we got a legend. And 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 for real, one of my favorites. Dead ass. When I think of this guy, man. He is one of the most funkiest producers on the planet. Very few. You know who you are, the other funky ones. But this guy right here, man, is the double threat. He may be a triple threat if he's a DJ. Nasty on the mic. Hailing from Landover, Maryland. Part of the DMV Classic Group. Low budget salute. I'm getting chills even thinking about this one right here, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm so happy he's here with us, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Kev Brown. Hey, man. Hey, thank you, thank you. <sighs> you far too kind. Yeah, I, I could have said more, good. Kev. Good to be here. You know what I mean? Salute, Eddie out here, Eddie James. Reality, yeah, man. Yes, sir. Cracking chop shop. You know, there's so many things that we're, we, you know, we'll discuss and we'll try to not dumb it down, but we, we, the remix version of your story, man. And, uh, as people know about Kev Brown, if you don't know, he's, he's worked with so many people. Um, De La Soul, you know, um, he's worked with Jazzy Jeff, mm-hmm. who is my favorite. And I, I mean, I'm going to bring up something about right. Jazzy later on <laughs> because, I love jazz. You had like six or seven joints on the yeah, Magnificent Yeah, it's quite too. a few. Uh, it might be maybe more like nine or yeah. something like that. Um, Classic or, album. Too. Jazz, yeah, yeah, man. Um, you know, you come from an area, um, you know, That's right. Landover, Maryland. and the, the whole, Yeah, the whole, yeah. Yeah, yeah, represent. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, when I think about music in the DMV, can you just uh, explain to me like your early roots, man, because I'm a DJ and um, the first time I really got wind of uh, music out of the DMV oh, was go-go music. Right. It wasn't even a DMV um, back then. It wasn't even, you know, that, that slang wasn't even around. It was metro, metro area. Right. The D.C. metro area. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, shouts to my my homies uh, who went to school in D.C. They used yeah. to say Metro. Because you can take the yeah. Metro. You literally um, take the subway, you know, all around, you know what I mean, to Virginia, yeah. all the way, yeah. to, you know what I mean? You go to Baltimore on the Metro. <laughs> so back then, um, you know, when uh, w- when you were young, Kev Brown, and, and getting into music, um you know, we had Chuck Brown, Soul Searchers and all that, yeah. you know, um, a lot of, a lot of go-go Super. groups. And, and, um, I know in hip hop, like go-go music was influence, yeah. um, influencing Mad hip hop as well. Yeah. Um, as house music as, as house music mm-hmm. was even, you know, in the early, uh, mid eighties yeah. and late eighties, man. Can you speak to how, um, a kid from, from the DMV at the time, when you first got the bug for hip hop, it was around us. It was basically around all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like hip hop, my mm-hmm. big brother, mm-hmm. you know, he had the boom box, you know what I mean? Playing, playing the run DMC. Yeah. And, um, even my sister, like, re- you know, like girls used to like write down the salt and pepper lyrics and like memorize them. You know what I mean? Like back in the day. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like, my mic yeah. sound nice, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, um, yeah. I just, re- you know, all of that. And uh, even early on, like hearing like Rapper's Delight at the at the cookout or something. 
and like you know what I mean it's just like super rhymes all that shit yeah yeah it's yeah. just it is it was just like around and then my family mm-hmm. uh is music you know a lot of music in my family my mom still played the piano and um at the time like my sister was like oh, okay. I think she was like playing the violin in school or something and uh mm-hmm. My brother played the guitar. My dad played the guitar. Oh, man. Yeah, like musical super family. musical. Like, cats was like, you know what I mean? And church getting busy and then, like, mm-hmm. school. Like, I remember going to school assemblies, you know what I mean? And I remember, I remember like, the my brother had a band at the school. So, like, they would, like, do the assembly stuff. And then at the end... It's like they would let them jam out. Oh you shit! I mean? Word. Like okay, were they playing like like co- like covers or like original stuff back then? I remember them playing uh, uh, dun, dun, Mr. Magic. You know what I mean? Oh they, yeah, they was like yeah, they yeah. some boy, like they went, It was Bladensburg High School in, in PT County. So they was like Bladensburg, <laughs> Bladensburg, yeah. Like they threw like uh, Blade. You know, they threw the high school stuff. That's in fire. With it. Um, and it was, I remember it was, and the yeah. crowd was like, oh, it's funky, you know what I mean? Like, uh, usually school assemblies yeah. ain't like, it's more stiff and, you know, pause. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, so I just, see, so react. <laughs> yeah. we, I mean, we you know, we try, I'm trying to, oh, you know, okay. avoid right, it. Get it ready. No, nah, no, nah, hey, we, no, nah, we, we, yeah. Cool. I oh, know, man. See, every time on, on the on the chop shop, like you say anything crazy, thanks to Mint Plus, man, <laughs> Mint because Plus, Mint's the brother, and yeah, and thanks to Mint that. Plus, who 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 got yo you, big uh, salute to Mint Plus, no doubt, gave us the heads up. Yeah, but, uh, salute to Mint Plus. He hit me he was up on the show Saturday. Um, it was like, yo, you should do the you should do the yeah. chop shop joint. I was like, all right. He called me, and I was like. Oh hell yeah! Please, like, like, please <laughs> call him back. And he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna make it happen." Yeah. I was like, "Oh, I was like, Kev, like, yes." Yeah, he called me frantically and was like, "Yo, yo, Monday, or... Kev Brown's coming on the show." I was like, That's "All right, I'm oh, good." Yeah, don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> but, but getting back to Ben real quick because he don't let nothing pass. He, I'm, you gotta be on my P's and Q's. Oh, he, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> he, he, oh, where's the oh, main dear. one? React. <laughs> Yeah, we, we always use James Brown shit. Oh, like, man. hey, hey, the the main one. He, he'll get the main one. There you go. Mm-hmm. I need a whole kit. I need that. I need a whole. James I, I got. Brown I got screams. like a hundred and twenty James Brown beats. Uh, screams. Yeah, in a in a zip folder. I'll shoot them over to you. As long as you give me some. Oh of those man, drums. my drums ain't even that Brown. crazy, man. <laughs> you you no, crazy? Tripping, you man. crazy? Like, son. What is he doing? I'm not. I'm doing the same thing <laughs> yeah. y'all doing. Yeah, but you had but you had me buying um the Jason uh J oh, uh, Jay's, uh, uh the Jay Zone drums is fire. It, um, yeah, Jay Zone. When, when you were using Jay Zone, you shout him out. I was like, yeah. who the fuck is Jay Zone? Yo, I was, was like, I'm gonna buy the joints. He shit. was dropping the joints like he was playing like breaks. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, like, recording them yeah. on a four track, and they sounded raw. You know, they just they, they sounded like real ra- real uh break beats. Yeah, oh, shouts to yo, Jay Zone, man. Right. I bought, I bought all them yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, them do, oh. and they was he was dropping them on forty five, like you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. I was getting the forty fives and everything. But yeah, growing up, you know, growing up in and around a musical family and all of that, and everybody kind of played instruments. So I guess I, when hip hop came along, I guess that was like my uh, my musical thing. You know what I mean? Like uh, I got into it and. Um, I was rapping, you know what I mean? I, I started off like rapping and then it just came about that I, I wanted original beats to rap over. So I started like trying to make beats and stuff. And it came from like pause mixing, you know what I mean? On the old head to mm-hmm. pause mixing, break, yeah. breaking the cassette tape or pr- breaking the cassette deck, you know what I mean? Like with the double, you know what I mean? And you click in, you got to get the, the good. It's a key to get the, uh, you know what I mean? It's no clicks in your in your in your your breaks and stuff when you uh No, the pause mix joints, that's how that's how I came up. Word. Like uh you know, like I'm, I'm you know, I don't need to date myself anymore. I already said on the show. Hey, man, like, no, you, no you can see the gray. Yep, yeah, hey, man. I'm hip I'm hip I'm hip hop to the to the casket drop and yeah, beyond. Man. I don't know nothing else. And I started off with pause tapes. Yeah. I actually I actually before even pause tapes, you know, when I was just I was cutting um, I was cutting good times to, um, and then play like the, um, I had a cassette next to the speaker mm-hmm. with a boom box next to my speaker with a regular cassette. 
Yeah. Um, with a regular record player, and I was cutting good times to the Grandmaster Flash Adventures of Grandmaster Flash record. Mm. And that's how. And like overdubbing and then, uh, it, like, like, he, like yeah, we're just scratching. Speaker, I was just like, scratching along. Or, oh, okay. Yep, or, yep. Just scratching at the time. Yeah, I was. I got to scratching first, way. and then uh, yeah, we would Jimmy. We would Jimmy uh, two record players together and use the balance play. Wow, <laughs> like through the arcs. Super it was some crazy hip-hop shit. Hip hop stuff right there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, super go super go ahead, man. Hip hop, you don't so, stop. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, don't, man. So pause tapes. You were saying, yeah, pause, and, uh, pause, pause beats and all that, and uh, like, like you saying, like I would, like even before I had a four track, I was like overdub. You know what I mean? It'd be mad hissing the tape or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You overdub it. Yeah. And uh, I, I remember I used to do my background vocals and my um the hook first. You know what I mean? Like, I, mm-hmm. my process was crazy back then. Because you had to, like... <laughs> That way, if I was like, okay, if I got an open mic, I got the background vocals and the... Um, Cause, but it was a, it was a two track on a cassette. It wasn't like, and then you overdub it again with the main vocal on top. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. And if yeah. you mess up, you got to start all over again because there oh. is no punch in. Uh, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. The, it's a cassette tape, so it's like it's not the four track. I didn't even had a four track mm-hmm. then. Like you know, old but, stuff. Like y'all remember the Gemini mixer with the big circle on it? It had like eight seconds of sample of time. Oh, yeah, of Speed course. the record up mad fast and then, <laughs> yep. you know what I mean, slow it mm-hmm. back down. And then, you know, you got a loop going and stuff. Like e- Either it was that or the uh, the Casio. Yes. You know you what I mean? You had to speed it up with the Casio, too. Yep. Slow it back down. Mm-hmm. Like, all of that stuff. Like, that's the, you know, there was no computers or nothing. It was just like mm-hmm. that type of stuff. Real, like, primitive compared to what, you know, if you wanted to get started now, you can literally download, you know, whatever. And yeah. You got top tier everything off the rip. But back then it was like, all right, let me figure this out. You know, that stuff was too expensive back then. Hell yeah. <laughs> like yeah, machines and stuff was like mad. Even oh, like man. now, like turntables, like I was like, yo, I remember I was going to try to start DJing. And I was like, yo, I'm not paying $500 a piece for um, <laughs> these joints. <laughs> Like yeah, and more now. I paid I paid eleven hundred a piece for my MK sevens. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. If you that you a real DJ for real, you know what I mean? Hey. Salute, because that's that's you invested yeah, in yeah. that. That's an investment right there. Um, yeah, joints is real. So for like sure. I remember yeah. I had like two like Gemini. I don't think my mom helped me buy like two like Gemini belt drive turntables, and I used to like take. Okay. The okay. ultimate breaks oh, and yeah. beats and like, take a sample and like you know what i mean like try to line it up and then yeah. record it onto the cassette tape and then pause mix yes. that you know what i'm saying that's right like, i broke a tape deck i remember i broke the tape deck in the living room and i was like oh I'm, you know and at christmas time i was like i'm gonna buy a, a new tape deck for christmas you know what i mean and bought it you know ah. from paul for from, the family like, go, coming home after school and like making beats before everybody get home. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. You know what time mom, yeah. mom and pop was oh, getting, yeah. or was getting it, home? When Cass, it's clockwork. You know what I mean? Back then. Yeah. It was like, okay. hey, yeah. We used to cut, we used to cut up too. We, yeah. That's funny that you said that, Kev. Cause... Got the living room speakers rocking, rocking in the living yeah. room. The big speaker. You're like, yeah, son. <laughs> The tape, the tape yo, yo, in the living yeah. room was good. It was good for pause mixing. Like the buttons, and yeah. you got to have a right yeah. tape deck to, um, to do a good pause, but the buttons. Yo, gotta, that's crazy. Right. I think my par- my my parents had that uh, that stand up like wooden. You had a combination. Uh, we had a combination like too, a, like a techniques. It, it was like uh, yeah, everything it was like a techniques, in like combo one, joint, right? Yeah. And the turntable and the turntable was uh, sat mm-hmm. on top. Yeah. And then had a radio else was under underneath the tape deck <laughs> yeah. and the EQ. Yo, did it have? Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all mm-hmm. have an eight track on it? Attention, basketball fanatics. It is game time. That's right. NBA season is back. You already know. Knicks tape all day long. But it's okay. Even if you're not a Knicks fan, we got an MVP slam dunk for you this season. That's right. Our friends over at Manscaped. 
they just put out some game-changing stuff. This trimmer is 100% your new MVP. It's going to give you that nothing-but-net feeling once you're done. The brand-new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra from Manscaped. Do not be the guy who fouls out in the grooming department. Be the guy that scores 20% off and free shipping with the code THECHOPSHOP at manscaped.com. Get the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra and get your grooming game in championship form. Let me break down the play-by-play for you real quick. Inside this package, the star of the show, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This is their fifth generation trimmer. It has two interchangeable blades. It's two razors in one. There's a standard blade for taking a little bit off the top and their new foil blade, which will keep you nice and smooth wherever you decide to shave. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra also features dual LED spotlights. That is right. You could shave your balls in the dark. Trust me, I tried it the other day in complete darkness. No nicks, no cuts, complete darkness, smooth balls. Don't forget if you're taking it on the go, Manscaped's got you covered. This puppy comes with the travel case already. It even has a travel lock feature on the device itself to avoid any accidental powering and weird looks at the airport. We are on the cutting edge of cutting pubes, people. Upgrade your ball trimmer and your life will follow. Once again, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code THECHOPSHOP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with our code THECHOPSHOP at manscaped.com. I could promise you, you've never seen a ball trimmer look like a spaceship. This thing is a spaceship. Get yours today from our folks over at Manscaped. Ooh, that's cool. Back in the day, my father had one of them joints. Yep. We had one of those in the living room for a thousand years. Even after it stopped working, it just was there like a piece of furniture. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It it, it became the TV stand. (laughs) Yeah, because it's so heavy. Eventually, we put it in the attic. That joint was dumb heavy. It's like, you know what I mean? Back in the day, like stuff was like made out of wood and metal. I was like, yeah, that's great. We got rid of it eventually, but so you did not take the DJ route as, at first. You nah, really wanted I, I to. I realized I wasn't really, you know what I mean? Not cut mm-hmm. for the DJ stuff. I've heard with you throughout the years, um, sample bass, um, but just, you know, just a lot of records. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So sample choice. When did you start collecting records as a young uh, were you, um, what, well, well, were you collecting records as a young? I kind of kind of like inherited my family's record collection uh Mm because like uh, my dad collected records when he was a teenager you know what i mean like that he was he grew up in the motown era and all that so Mm -hmm. it's i still got mad 45s in the closet from my dad and uh you know just the whole family really like uh my brother collected records you know after a while cats like you know what I mean? They don't they don't keep them and then it's like they don't want them no more. So it's like, I'll take those. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. even before I was making beats, I was still like I would just go through I remember me and my friends just going through my dad's records, like listening to forty fives. Like, you know what I mean? And and just yeah. being like, Wow, this is what my dad this is what they was listening to back in the day, you know what I mean? Like I would be at the I would be at the top of the stairs when my pops had get togethers. Mm. Uh, you know, and be like, you know, smell. I'm sorry, mom and dad. Well, mom, not my mom, because she was in the church and she was in the room next door. But, <laughs> but I'd be at the top, and then you, sp- you smell the the the, little, the scent of you know, of sass. Yeah, man, little, little, you know, not sex, but little herbal, you know, little herbal essence. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And they, and he was playing records. They were playing records, Word. and uh, that's, that's how I got. I was, I was that one at the top of the stairs. Yeah. Um, but that's dope. Um, so speak to your uh, your early your early inspirations with hip hop, and when you were just like, "Yo, that's that." This is what you know. I know you just talking about. You we're talking about pause tapes, but um, um, were there any influences or uh or anybody that you can that you can uh, mention um, who even got you into pause tapes or even involved in um, pause tapes or how you even figured it out? Um, oh, my man, uh, shout out to Early Reed, no doubt. Early Reed. Okay. Um, one one summer, um, my man, shout out to my man Roy too, my man Royal Howard. 
Um, mm -hmm. That's uh, Early Reed's cousin. They both cousins. And like Roy mm -hmm. live around the corner. And he was like, yo, we going over my, my cousin's house to record some music or whatever. I think I had like went to North Carolina with my family. We would always go to North Carolina every um, every summer for like summer break. Because yeah. my mom got yeah. mad family down there. So I think I remember I came back. And it was like, yo, we went over Early Reads. We went over, I think his name was Earl G at the time, like or Earl, Earl yeah. or whatever. It was Earl something. It was like, we went over Earl's house and they played me the joints that they record. I was like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was, it, you know, it was the back in the day, like record and, you know. Yeah. Like it was, he had, he had like, a, 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 and then I eventually went over there and saw how he was make, making beats. And that's where I seen the first person like making like pause beats and stuff. And then I was mm -hmm. like, huh. When I started rapping, I was rapping mm -hmm. and then going over early Reed's joint because he was like doing the DJ stuff and he was doing cuts. He was the only person I knew that actually had equipment. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, yeah, yeah. You know, so, and, and he was mad cool. So it was like, all right, cool. We go over his, over his house. Probably I might have some of that stuff on cassette tape in the closet, maybe. Oh um, my god! I got oh, a lot man. of stuff. I got a lot of. Um, Trust me, I was stuff. I was I was looking hard for for some Kev Brown shit on YouTube. I was like, please let me oh, find so some like early. obscure stuff. Thank God it's not anything up there because uh, I don't want to be like. No, there is. I know. I don't want to be know. like Jay Dilla where you can type in Jay Dilla and brrr, everything come up that's not even <laughs> supposed to come up. Like I'm glad I that I, my my catalog is uh, you know a little more locked mm. locked down. Give thanks because I I don't know what I would do if all those beat tapes. If oh. I was trying to like sell beats and all my beat tapes leaked online. I'd be like ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> dude. Like that, and and then everybody just taking it and rapping on it and doing whatever. Like, but even like you said, um, you said something about the go go. Like even with the um, you know, um, the Salt and Pepper had to shake your thing joint. I I, I remember like Kwame's crew, like Kwame's crew, Herbie Lovebug was incorporating right. a lot of go go and in, into um, the kid and play. Damn, ass. um, joint, um. Ola, that is a gem, Ola. yeah, for real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, a lot of yeah. go go um, influence with the Herbie. He must have came down to DC and seen the, <laughs> the vibe. He like, saw a trouble right. funk get busy. Word, word. He was like, what the fuck yeah, is this? Word. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> and, you know, a lot you know, of groups, Chuck Brown. A lot of groups, though, like, I remember like Scarface and um, a lot of groups when they would come to DC, they would just have a go go band. Like do their, you know, they would perform live with the Go Go Band when they would come to DC. Cats knew the drill. Like they, they probably came down one time, and like, I remember a, a show at the Capitol Center, and 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 back when the Capitol Center was a real building, and and uh, it was the it was the Hit Squad. It was supposed to be Mary J. Blige. She didn't she didn't come through though, but it was like the whole Hit Squad with like DOS Effects and Red Man and stuff. And and like uh, mm -hmm. the far side, their first album was out. Pete Rock and CL Smooth, you know what I mean? E yeah. Like EPMD, the Hit Squad, all that. Um, Business Never yeah. Personal was out. You know what I mean? Oh, had okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But like Rare Essence performed too. You know what I'm saying? Oh so yeah. So like you I couldn't you Essence. couldn't have even though it was hip hop, you don't stop. Like you know we're not gonna have. Even though like Rex and Effects <laughs> was there, you know what I'm saying, all that. Yeah. But like we gonna have a go-go section too, you know what I mean? And everybody, yeah, bock a doo goop, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's yeah. cracking, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then they they, yeah, yeah, they yeah. go back to the hip hop stuff, You're like you know what I mean? Not too many people know that. I mean, Def Jam, one of the earlier groups, mm -hmm. was the Junkyard Band. Super hip hop. That's crazy. Run they had the record. Song. I remember they had that one record, Sardines. Yep. That, that was the shit. I remember riding on the school bus, all the kids singing along to that song. Sardines. You know I, mean? I didn't even know Play what Def Jam was back then. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't know. But now, I, re I remember later on, I got the record and they got the big Def Jam logo on it. I was like, it did, no, man. Our band did. was on Def Jam. And then, and then yeah. later on, I saw the tougher, tougher Than Leather movie. And they yeah. in the movie doing, yeah, a, they doing the B side <laughs> of 
You know what I mean? The um the word. Yeah. They're doing the word, which was a big song too. Yeah, but hip hop was definitely influenced by um I mean, just like you said it. Yo, I, Ashley's I mean. Roach clip is Chuck is Chuck Brown, which is like the drum break for Rock Him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like embedded in hip hop. Yeah, man. Like you know Yeah, R- R- Ashley's Roach clip is one of the illest records ever. Word. That's Chuck Brown and the Soul Searchers. The- so <sighs> thinking of a master hey. plan, right? Like that's uh Yeah. You know what I mean? That's uh, Rock M. But even before, like, b- busting, lo- busting loose. Crazy. What? Yeah. Just one of the illest, yeah. one of the illest records ever. Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, you know, I remember all that. The Go Go Live uh, VHS tapes, if anybody yeah. know what that is. You know what I mean? No, your people will know. They're going to hear it. It's like uh, it's like hip hop stuff with um with New York. It's like yo, you yeah. you got the um the three MCs tape at the at the at the Latin Quarter. It's like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yo, I got the I got the uh like PA tapes was heavy at a certain time. Like cassette okay. tapes where you would they would it would be a a, a recording of the Go Go show like coming through yeah. the board of the the sound man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's how most of the stuff sound. It's it's you capturing the live. Most of the go go stuff you hear, it ain't really in the studio. They it's captured at a live performance. It's mad drum breaks and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. All the all the early uh, early records, um, reacting um, attest to this too. One of my favorite records that we used to scratch all the time was Pump Me Up, Trouble Funk. Yep. There it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. <laughs> like, well, and the then it was corporated. Oh. Um, just, uh, just a lot. Of, there was go go in hip hop all the time. Like you know, even um, Beastie Boys used the um, you know, LL Cool J used it. Too. Right. Um, 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 right. LL Cool J, Rock the Bells, the Mad um, Congos, the, uh, and all that. But, and but, there, but there were two versions of it too. Mm-hmm. There were two versions. It was the other, not Rock the Bells, but um. Actually, it was Rock the Bells. He had two versions. Rock the Bells. Yeah, he had two versions. Boom, don't, boom, da, don't, boom, ba, don't, da. That was Word. all. That was all go go. Were there any um, MCs in, in, in hip hop in that area? I'm trying to get down to understand who were you looking to when it when it came to to that that grit. Were there well, any groups in that in your area that were hip hop? Well, initially, I was like just watching videos like rap okay. videos um the jukebox network i don't know mm-hmm. if anybody remember people act like they don't remember the jukebox network the jukebox network was a real thing people yeah. act like i had a dream and dreamed it up <laughs> but it was a real thing back in the day i remember before getting on the school bus watching videos off the jukebox network not not ralph mcdaniels but yeah. it was a it was a, a cable station Mm-hmm. And back in the day, it had the robot voice, like choose your video, da 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 da. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like right. you could call, it was like a nine hundred number, and you could call and like choose a video, and it would play on the channel. You know what I mean? That it was called that the shit costs money. Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people, mad people used to get in trouble. I never, <laughs> I never called the number, but I know mad right. people that used to get in trouble for like, yo, you know what I mean? And, you about to get and your that's ass where I would see pop. like mad videos, mad videos. That's probably was playing on like the Ralph McDaniels joint. But I remember seeing the um, Master of Ceremony sexy video. Yes. Doom, yeah. Doom, 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 of course. Doom, 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 doom. Like uh, yeah. Uptown kicking it. Shouts to Grand Pooba. Word up. He was in Master of Ceremony. Word yeah. up. Um, Uptown yeah. kicking it. Remember the Uptown uh, kicking yeah, it video on. when they we, crashed we, we, into we was the doing the dance and everything. Building. Uptown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like right. it was that era of stuff. Um, okay. like, uh, uh, kid and play do this my way. Um, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like they would play like, and then sometimes the videos would play back to back. Like it would play uptown kicking it and then it would play mm-hmm. uptown kicking it again. You know what I mean? Oh somebody, yeah. Cause they got the request. Bought it again. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, it's like, yo, what i wanted to see it again you know what i mean like yeah. like uh self-destruction like all that stuff like it was basically like mad new york stuff like you know what i mean like that yeah. cast was influent you know i didn't know about this was like earth this is like you know you see the songs i'm talking about this is like 80s you know what i mean so I'm yeah, a, yeah, yeah, at you know. the time i'm probably like 10 it's like 86 i'm 10 years old so okay i'm you know just taking all of this stuff like in my mind you know what i mean going to elementary school and whatnot 
Um, yeah. So that's that's and then on top of that, my big brother, like I said, like, you know, he got the Houdini joint when it come out, the new Houdini joint. Phone yeah. beat. And then you see the video on the you know what I mean? Ooh. And the you know what I mean? Trust Theo me. directed the video, it. Malcolm Jamal Warner, he in the that's video. Right. He did. And like that, like you know what I mean? That video fire, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. And, big you know, mouth, all that word, shit. Like big mouth, yeah. big you know, all that, yeah. man. Like just growing up with all, I'm, you know, my big brother was into like, he wasn't just into hip hop. He was into like, he he would throw some James Taylor on too. And that's how I probably got into like other eclectic things too. Cause my brother would listen to like Steely Dan and whatnot. Cause he was like a musician. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just saw James Taylor uh, a month ago. You saw him live? At Jones Beach. I did. Yo, I'd have been and for the, the first the time. audience crying the oh, whole time. Yo, I was like, I was literally, I saw my childhood Mm. literally flash in front of me carolina on my mind crazy <sighs> what what that's why i'm here if you ever <laughs> you need to listen to everybody out there need to listen to james taylor that's why i'm here you need to listen to that whole oh, album man. from start to finish yeah. just listen to the yeah. whole album fly shit you're not a real human man. being if you if you don't feel nothing from from jt jack jt no is doubt one of the realest that songwriting crazy yeah his song his yeah, pen well, is crazy his pen be on fire when he be right yeah yeah God. well 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 Car carly simon he was married to carly simon yes and yes and so that's you know. a fire combination right there too that, that's <laughs> right. talking about inspiration yeah that whole era mm -hmm. you know the Joni mitchell's and all that like that oh, yeah that whole great era, era for music crazy. you know even you know from from soul to folk yeah um as you can see i mean behind me i got one, one of my favorites todd rungren oh you know, my god um, yo yeah who come on for, man yeah i mean he was Jeez. he was from his his j his days in the group euphoria to writing for hall and oats and all that shit yo, and, he, and himself god is crazy that progressive stuff is crazy it is man i hear it in your music too man just uh so you started beat making uh and what year, like what year you start really programming music and mm. MCing and putting your stuff out? Well, technically, I'll say like the the year I joined, you know, I had a joint with like a barcode on it uh, was 2001. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess you could say oh, like, shit. a joint where you could scan the joint like, oh, that's an official joint, 2001. But I was doing okay. it, you know, high school and stuff. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But no. like two thousand, I got the year two thousand, I remember I got the MPC two thousand XL. Cause before that I had, you know, like I said before, graduated from the pause mix to the little Gemini sampler with the big circle on it. Later on I got a um this little box called an Akai S twenty and I was making mad. I I had a four track, yo. You couldn't yeah. tell me no. Once I got the four track, I was making whole albums. I got um Task I got, Tascam or Fostex. <laughs> um I had the Fostex joint. <laughs> the cassette yeah, okay. joint. Yeah. The gray joint. Team Team Fostex. Word up. I had the Fostex <laughs> joint. Then later on I had a digital one that took like little mini discs. And it, it was like a four track. It was still a four oh, track. Yeah, I remember it was those. digital. It was all black. It looked like Darth Vader. It was fire. I used it for <laughs> years. I was doing whole. Yeah. Yo, I did uh, always on that. Like I, re I was the that was recorded on a, um, a four track always. Yeah, on a on a digital four track. But um, yeah, Good. like I I gradually, um, you know, I had the S twenty, and then later on, around whenever the two thousand XL came out, I think that's when I got it. Um, okay, because I think that the two thousand came out like ninety eight. Uh, yes, it did. And then like a yes, year or two later. I was a 3,000. I had the 3,000. React, you had the, um. I had the 2,000 XL. Were 3,000 was mad expensive. Even to this day, that joint is mad expensive. Shouts to my man, Ike Lee, who had the first 3,000 that I saw. And I was like, ooh, this is, because I, I came from, I'm early generation MP. Yeah. I had the 60. Word. Um, and, and a gentleman by the, um, the name, we got to get Sam Sever on here. Sam, ooh. producer Sam Sever. Sam Sever. Sam Sever. We were managed by Pete Nice from third base. He gets props, and, um, right? Is that what is that Fife? Sam uh, Sam Sever. Yeah, yeah. He gets oh, no, no, that's that's um Skeff Anselin. 
Skeff Skeff Anthony, Anthony, okay, he okay. gets props too. Right. Skeff Anthony Sam too. Sam Sever uh, is the he he did joints on MC Search album, didn't he? He sure did. Hey. Sam Sever produced for KMD as well. Word. And and um and third base, obviously. Word up. Yo, yo, third base first album was stupid. Oh, the cactus crazy. Joint. Yeah. Even product of environment yeah. was crazy too. Yeah, that, that album was crazy. Was crazy. That like the, yeah. the their production, their skits and all that. Yeah. That so, cactus. So yeah, Sam Sever told me how to use this at 60, 62. Step into the then. AM. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah. Oh, right. That's right. Right. And then uh and then the and then the three thousand. But you had the two thousand X I did notice that because I remember um I mean man, you were rocking on the two thousand for a long time. Yo, I time. used that joint for like a thousand years, yo. That was like <laughs> I knew that joint in and out. Pause. Like you know what I mean? Now. I knew that joint. Hey <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Now, there is a story out there that your wonderful 2000 XL was stolen. Is that true? Oh, not the 2000 XL. No, not the 2000 XL. I had the 2500 um, stolen. I was in South Africa, that joint. I went to the bathroom, came back. That joint was gone, Jack. You know what I mean? That joint was gone. (laughs) (laughs) You laugh about it now. I was jacked up then, though. I was like, yeah. It was like a movie. It was like, no. You know what I mean? And this is when the two, uh, 2500 was brand new? Like, Nah. Like, yo, okay. I had to, I had the XL for a thousand years, yo. I like, know. I was using like, that. All types of new stuff was out. And I was like, yo, I'm still using this joint. Um, yeah. And then after a while, I was like, yo, I need to upgrade. You know what I mean? I, was, I seen the 2500. I got the 2500 in like 2011. That joint came out <laughs> like 2007. You know what I mean? So I was uh, still okay. late yeah, yeah. when I got it. Um, yeah. But I was like, dang, it got the CD burner on the front. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm getting that joint. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. I was to step up. You know what I mean? I could make a whole beat Paul, tape. Slide put it shit on. Yeah, man. So, so somebody stole it. Did it? Did, so when they when they stole it, like th- there were joints on there. Yo, it was it was new when I it, it was used when I got it. The, the uh, it, it was used when I got it, but it was still tight because I took the um I took the I opened it up and I had took the drum pads from the XL and put the drum pads from the XL onto the um the twenty five hundred. Uh, I was like, yo, I'm out here, son. Like you know what I mean? I had a JJOS on that joint. I was in the game, son. I was losing my mind. I had the um, I had non-destructive chop before everybody. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, you know what I mean? On an NPC, like the JJOS. If y'all know what the JJOS is, like, yeah. you know what I mean, I had the JJOS on there. How 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 did you do that? Who who did it, had, it for you? It, it, the JJOS <laughs> had non-destructive chop. They up they did an update, and it was like, yo, we got non-destructive chop neck right now. This was like 2011. You know what I'm saying? Okay. NPC software didn't have non-destructive chop. For anybody that mm-hmm. doesn't know what non-destructive chop is, non-destructive chopping is non-destructive when you're chopping. Mm. That's that's the expo- that's the definition of it. So like you that's so great. like yo, y'all make beats. You have a uh Yeah. You you trim you trim a snare too close. Yo, that snare, yo, trim that Clip. snare too close. Yeah. But then you don't want to, you got to sample it all over again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let me go back and sample. You might have changed your EQ on some old school. Like, yo, I had an EQ. You know, I used to EQ my stuff before I said, like, yo, I don't even feel like doing all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, non destructive chop, you could just go back to the sample screen, move the slaughter back, bow, because it's non destructive. You know what I mean? You didn't, yeah. Yeah. when you trimmed it, you didn't destroy you know, you didn't truncate it and destroy everything that was there. Like it's still. Yeah. You had a built-in undo button on the twenty five hundred. Oh yeah. Well, the undo button is a magic. You know, that's always a great thing to have. Undo is. Yeah. They, they <laughs> right. many a times. They, you know, the undo button been on Matt. You know, they was it's on the three thousand too, right? The undo button. No. I know it's on the two thousand. I guess they must have started doing it on the two thousand. Okay. Yo, the undo button is a game changer. Hit that on un- you mess up, hit the undo. Wow. It's gone. Yeah, when I got the point, when I got the when I got see that's I don't understand. Like I'm older, so when you see the forums and people be like, yo, these machines ain't doing enough, I'd be like, yo, I don't understand what y'all are talking about. Cause I came from 
the the older beat machines where you had to like you had to yeah. it wasn't no effects my npc when i first got it yo the npc the, the effects card was mad expensive you know what i mean um, it was like a chip i remember that or a card you had to open the whole machine up and put the chip in like you know, you got yo that's science right there but now the new <laughs> machines they come with the effects built in like yo it's crazy you know what I mean? I don't even hook my beat machine up to the, the, the I use the live now, so you can hook it to the computer or use it by itself. Mm-hmm. Like I, I right. never hook it to the computer unless I'm like clicking and dragging stuff over or something. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah. I make beats just like I made beats back in the day. I remember getting amped up about installing the, the eight outs in the back of my XL. Yo, right? that was a big deal too. If you bought one that already had like the pro edition, mm-hmm. That's a whole sign, like opening up, anybody that ever opened up your beat machine, God bless you, because you yeah. are in no, undiscovered country. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, that's, I never. I've done went on YouTube. Terrifying. You ever go on YouTube and be like, all right, I think I'm doing it right. And you got, you ever put it back together and it'd be like two or three screws still. I got extra screw. You know what I mean? Like, like but everything um... is still back together. It's like, yo, I ain't even, yo, one time I, um, I put it back together and it, I had, I guess a screw was loose. That joint was like rattling. Like, you know what I mean? You can hear it. Yeah. It's man. If you ever opened up your beat machine and did some stuff and it still work, you close it back. It's like, yo, I used to, I look back and like, I can't believe I used to do that. Like, I, but I used to do the simple stuff. I would just yeah. like open it up, change the drum pads, yeah. close it. But then you, nah, I would be afraid. I would be doing that for like an hour that. though, because it's mad screws. Like, you got to unscrew this screw. Yeah. Like, and it's the front plate, it's the top piece. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, depending on yeah. what part you're nah. trying to get to. I'm laughing because as a DJ, sometimes back in the day, you had to, you know, you would get fader bleed, right? Oh. So you would have to you would have to change oh, your fader. Yeah, you have to change yeah, your crossfader, you especially if you were a scratch fader. DJ. Like I, you know, I came up, you know, scratching the shit about the screws. Like, bro, I used to drop screws in my Vestax 07 Pro all the time, and I would close the shit, <laughs> and then yeah. like it, I would go to a gig, and I remember you know packing that shit up and hearing like screws Rattles rattling down. around. I'm like, wait a second, I thought I, I thought I put that shit back in. What the what what what's going on here? Yeah, so. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Man. I get it. Shouts to Rogue Music, man. They used to fucking open up my MPC. They they installed the, the eight outs on my MPC because I was nervous as shit. God bless them. Hey, nah, I got a little bit. I was a little bit more bougie with my shit. I'm sorry, man. But shouts to Bruce Ferrat. Oh wow, you, know what I'm you went to the you went to to Batman. You know what I mean? You I got did. I sent I sent my shit out to LA to Bruce, Bruce cave. and he sent he sent it back, and I was like, oh. That's crazy. That's crazy. I remember crazy. looking on the Forat website like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, it was, that was Roger, Roger Lynn's machines. right-hand man. Snoop Dogg's joints, Rizzo's joint had the Wu-Tang logo on it. Like, yeah. Yo, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, like, he put wow. he put the, uh, he, had, he had my shit, uh, he had my shit look. Well, I didn't want him to do anything else. I just wanted a couple, a couple things, mm. and he did it. Um, wow! But um, I had the, uh, you know, I had the black, the black joint, like the oh, you had shit. the, oh you know, man, the black Batman shit. You still it got was it? Crazy. It was crazy. No, oh, Kev. Uh, boom, <laughs> Kev, boom, I was boom. looking at it like, like in my life at the time, I was new kid. Brand new son. Word. Well, brand new son. I said yeah. brand, new, brand new kid. Of course. Sure. I, had a, <laughs> I had a newborn. What the fuck am I talking about? So I had a newborn and I was just looking, you know, being selfish and shit, buying equipment. And I was just like, um, but I got rid of it. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, the Roger um, Lynn joint, son. Yeah, I did, man. On that joint. That's crazy. I did, man. That joint in the Smithsonian now. That's crazy. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. I've been there. My son, my Jay son. Dillard's was, joint. That's crazy. Yeah, it is, man. Like, man. So, low budget. Mm. Speak, speak about low budget and how you guys yeah. form low, low, low budget, budget cool, man. man. And why, and why the name low budget, which is fire because low budget productions. That was the initial, like even before the crew is called low budget productions, because my stuff, like I said, you know what I mean. That was easy. I was like, yo, I'm pause mixing on cassettes and like handheld mics and recording on the cassette tapes. I was like, yo, this low budget. You know what I mean? Low budget. I used yeah. to like 
at the end of my songs be like, yo, low budget productions. And I remember I would let my friends at work hear it. And they was like, yo, you should keep that. You should just like keep the low budget production. You should say, say that on joint. Like, That's oh, fine. That's what's up. And then later on, I guess because my production was called low budget, once the crew started accumulating, I remember one time I had a show. We had a show in New York one time. And I guess instead of naming everybody, they just said low budget crew. You know what I mean? Because it was like Wu-Tang Clan at that point. You know what I mean? It was, right. It was, speak to, but speak about the group. Like who was who was in low budget at the time? All right. Let's let's let, not leave anybody out here. Um, Cy Young. You know what I mean? Early mm. in the game, I met Cy Young at an open mic, and uh, he was super nice. Yeah. Um, he had moved from New uh, North Carolina, I think. Yeah. Either North Carolina or yeah, I think from North Carolina, but he from New York. But uh, I think he went to school in um, North Carolina. His mm-hmm. mom from North Carolina. Everybody's mom from North Carolina. Like, yeah, man, he got <laughs> bounced out. Uh, um, and, uh, or Alabama. Word up. Um, okay. Ken Starr. You got uh, Odyssey. Uh, 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 Early Reed. Um, Hassan Mackey. Sean Bourne. Sean Bourne. Uh, Ooh. Producer, critically critically man. acclaimed, which is Quartermain and Caliber. Yeah. Um, you got DJ Ken Wood. You got DJ Marshall Law. P, uh, uh, PMD, of course. P, uh, Peter Rosenberg, for those that don't. PMD. Peter, Peter from Maryland. From Peter, Maryland. PMD. PMD. Was, that's Peter from Maryland. <laughs> PMD. We call him PMD. We call him PMD. Um, um, the, only, the, only, the only white boy. You know what? Word. Yep. <laughs> Strange, strangely enough. But he don't say white. I mean, he, yeah. he was Jewish. I mean, shout the shouts. He white. He white. Um, was was why you down with you guys? I love why. I love why you. Yeah. Why? It's, he, it's he, like you know how like uh, affiliates. Yeah. It's like Capadonna and Killer Army and stuff. It's like um, extra cats that's like solo artists themselves, but they collaborate yeah. so much with with cats that they basically are part of the crew. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. Why you? So many, so so many. Ta- keep going. I mean, so um, many talent, mad talented yeah. um, people. I hope I ain't leave nobody. If I leave, if I left anybody out, I guess in the comments, uh, I feel like IQ. Shout out to IQ, my man Antoine from DTMD. So this was all through years, um, yeah, for, uh, years on. So 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 speak about the ori- uh, the original like low budget, and you guys started. Uh, recording when you put me because that's the first time i ever heard a low budget like or like early mm-hmm. like it was like 2000 i'm gonna say about 2003 okay yeah that's about right i think we dropped fair? the mixtape um yeah. around those years that was like um stuff started cracking off when uh you know around 2001 i started working with jazzy jeff and, and uh oh phil Please, please, please. Mint Plus said there's a story about Jazzy Jeff. Can you please give us a story? First of all, you were in the Touch of Jazz. Yes. Right? Yeah, I was, but I was at Touch of Jazz after, like, everybody blew up and left. Not to right. say my squad wasn't dope, too, but we was, like, the second squad. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, <laughs> they like, uh, the original dudes I was, like... Calvin and Docs. yeah, like they was getting Docs, music. Yeah. Soul Child, Floetry, yeah. um, yeah. Glenn Lewis, Jill Scott, yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> super <laughs> incredible no, was, me- mega hits. Like they was making yeah hits. Um, Vidal yes. and um, yeah, Valvin, yeah, Vidal. Yeah. They they was crushing everything. Like I was buying their stuff yeah. before. You know what I mean? I was even up there. Like, I was just, like, a fan of the music. How'd you meet Jeff? Jeff, well, okay. Shout out to Grab Lover. I got to go back a little bit. Shout out to Grab Lover. Grab Lover was like, yo, he knew somebody at uh, this label called Hidden Beats, which is Jill Scott's record label. <laughs> and um, of course. He, he, it was an artist that he went to high school with named Mike Phillips. I don't know if anybody, if you read. Mike Phillips is OG <laughs> triple OG. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause. Yo, pause for a quick mm-hmm. second. You react. We just had this conversation with um Sean Himbler, and he started off with Hidden Beach, 
and and Mike Phillips. Word. Mike Phillips, yo. Mike Phillips went to high school with Grap Lover. At a certain point, I guess Mike Phillips was looking for new tracks to, um, you know, he's working on a new album. And he hit up Grap. Like, yo, send me some beats because Grap is nice. You know what I mean? Grap is nice. But yeah. like at this point, like Grap was like, yo, I'm not going to send him no beats. But he'll go to address if you want to send him some beats. Bow. So like I literally, I put a beat <laughs> tape together and I wrote on it like Grap told me to send you some joints. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was, you know, yeah. mailed it off, like literally, like, uh, um, it, it, you know, that's back when we was really physically still mailing yeah. stuff out and, uh, and praying that the shit. Yeah. Got but there. like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> at least to get there. And, but I, yeah. I was never one of those guys like, yo, listen to my demo type. I wasn't like, I remember mm -hmm. I got home from work. I got a message on my answer machine and the dude was like, yo, Jazzy Jeff wanted me to da 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 da. I'm like, this uh scam joint. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like thinking like, yo, I ain't even answer. I ain't, you know what I mean? I was just like, whatever. You know what I mean? And uh right. they left another message. I remember talking to it was um La Williams, aka Lazell, you know what I mean? Lazell and mm -hmm. what E flat at the time. So like he was he was her manager at the time. So he's cool with Jazzy Jeff. So I guess he played somehow the tape was floating around the beat tape CD that I was, you know, sent out was floating around and it got to him. And then he heard it and was like, let Jeff hear it. And he was like, yo, Jazzy Jeff wants you to come up. Uh, like I, I was talking to him like, yo, you know what I mean? Like not even being like, is this, I don't believe you. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Like he was like, Yo, can you come up tomorrow? Duh. I was like, Yo, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Uh, I could like, I gotta put in. You know what I mean? Take a day off or whatever. So, so Jeff called you or his man? Or... Nah, that was that was Lyle Lyle Williams. My man, shout out to Lyle okay. Williams. Okay, word up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, eventually, you know, um, went up to Philly and I took I took my my parents just don't understand I had the single, you know what I mean? The vinyl. And I was like, if nothing happened, I'm going to get Jazzy Jeff autograph. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if any going, you know, anything going to happen from this, but at least I'd be, you know what I mean? At his autograph, you know what I right. mean? But he was like, yo, you know, like he was looking for new producers and stuff. And I remember I took Cy Young with me because I was like, wait till they hear Cy mm -hmm. Young. Cy Young is dope. And um, and Cy Young got a presence. He's six foot seven. I mean, like he he looked like a superstar. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm taking my man's with. Plus, right, he's a big dude, right. so he could look out for me. You know what I mean? Uh, so like we, you know what I mean? Yeah, we yeah. And uh, we it was it was mad cool. You know what I mean? And uh, Jazzy Jeff was mad cool. And yeah. eventually, long story short, like that's how you know the magnificent stuff started happening. And I worked with Biz Markey, De La Soul. You know what I'm saying? Like from from Man. the what a classic album too. Oh, that yeah. that that magnificent. What that, that that was the one that was yeah. on BBE, right? The first one. right? And actually, before that, Ooh. I was on Marley Man, Mars. That album was... I did a joint with Grap on Marley Mars uh, BBE joint. Where, oh, okay. Uh, it's called What Ruling Means with Grap Lover. Yeah. We did that on the four track too. That's back in the day. And um, I remember we went to Future Flavors and with Pete Rock and uh, Marley Mars. Oh, yeah. And, um, like they played it on the radio. Like I remember, I should have kept the mess. I bet you I got it on the cassette tape, the little um, answer machine cassette yeah. tapes back in the day. But um, Marley Marl right. left a message on my um, like my answer machine back in the day. Well, I know why. I'm gonna tell you why because, and and this might be a little controversial, okay. but 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 it, but but this is my Let's get dramatic. Come on, so Let's bring the drama. Absolutely, the love and hip hop. Absolutely, Come on. my pal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, when it comes to uh, hip hop and 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 my lineage, um, Pete Rock. Th there's there's three that really spoke to me early on, and that would be Pete Rock, uh, Tip, and and Walk and Lodge Professor. Walk him through um, it. You're right. Talk to him. Yeah. 
Pete Rock at the time was Pete super was funky. It is one, it's one of the greatest everything. ever. He's destroying everything. For real. I remember my brother had the um the rem the um reminisce yeah. single. And that I remember just yes. like my brother had certain singles on cassette yeah. tape. And I remember yeah. like when he would leave, yeah. I would just be playing, you know what I mean? I would be playing joints over and over again. I remember he had the um he had the yeah. EPMD. What was the EPMD joint? And on the B side, it had brothers from from Brentwood. Brothers from Brent One Long Island, brother from Brent One Long Island, brother from Brent Massive Met Down, Brent the Red oh Tape. God. Yo, over here, nostalgic, black nostalgic over here. No, I know, man. And this is like, listen, man. man, this is history right here. So when I when I heard Pete, I was like, you know, Pete, yes. super funky. And and then and then seriously, mm. I heard Kev Brown. And I said, this reminds me of Pete. Let's go. However, it's 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 a smidgen more funkier. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I thought um, you was going to say it's a little different than Pete. No, it, it, is it, different. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, it, yeah. It was different. It was, it was, it was. I don't, I don't funk, know. I ain't going to say. You know, I don't listen. Like the, uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to do I, that. Like, we not doing. We God. not doing that. Listen, Pete no, knows. Pete, Pete, no Jay Dilla. No, you know, no Kev Brown. Uh, no, listen, a lot of people. I, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm old. I'm, I'm low, I come from that age. All right, and and all due respect to Pete. Pete is one of my favorite. I say he, yeah, he's, he's on my he's, Mount Rushmore. He's my most favorite. But probably. but there's a level of ele- uh, of evolution, Word. and and. And it has to be there. Like I call, you gotta like, carry it on. You know what I mean? But not do exactly. It exactly the same That's what I did. Going. That's what I did. Word. So, so th- there's no, there's no. Sh- this is all love. Word this up. is all love. Word and it's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be next generation. Word. Word. Next generation up. Word. So there's no, sh- there's nothing. Word. Pete Rock's one of the greatest. He's oh. one of my favorite. Absolutely, Mount Rushmore. Period. Hands down. Premier too, you know what I mean? Premier, yeah, pr- oh, of course, you know, primo. Like the, the, of course, primo. The mountaintop, uh, it is. The gods, it um, is, man. Um, so what Maul, I was saying like is, Marley Mall, and you know. But what reminded me, because your bass lines, mm. um, they were just they. It remind like it reminded me of Pete in an mm-hmm. era where, um, I don't know, like he was phasing out of. Um, major label records, mm. and then, and then I was listening to more underground stuff, and then I heard your joints, and I was like, "Man, it's just, man, it's uh, this reminds me of Pete, and it's funkier. It, it it's funky like Pete. Let's let's get it. I don't want to get twisted. I don't want no because well, because I, I want Pete to come on the show. Yeah, you don't it. want nobody say you don't want the chat to go crazy. No, 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 we're not doing that. And then. But the chops of your records, word, you were really fucking chopping records hard. I was, I was ODing on the chopping like that. You know, that comes from listening to people and thinking that mm. we used to think cats was chopping stuff up crazy. Like we would listen to joints and be like, "Yo, he just chopped it up. He just chopped that up crazy." But then right. you hear the original. Later on, you hear the original record, and the joint just be like a loop, or they it, or they might a, it might be a, a the beginning of the record and the end of the record, and mm-hmm. they like took the piece and like well and chopped it. And I'm telling you right now, like so that's, that, that's, that's what I'm, I'm telling you that's where that's where that came from because yeah. it was like at a certain point when you had the beat machine and you could do so much with it, it's yeah. like yo you cheating if you just looping something. You gotta like. <laughs> This joint got 16 drum pads on it with four banks. So I'm glad like, you yo, said you that. Can, you can like do a little more stuff than you usually, you know, can do. So 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 here's one of my favorite chops. Mm. The Army Fatigue shit on the oh. L Green shit. One of my favorite chops right here. Don't ever touch this record ever again, people. Oh my 
don't even make sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, so, so. It's eight bars, though, but it don't make sense. Like, the no, it don't make, bars, yeah, but yeah. It's eight bars, but who cares? You can nod add to it, but when, when Cass is rapping on it, it's, it's spaz, you know what I mean? Like, it's oh, crazy. oh, we, we got the rap version of that, too. <laughs> I remember when I, when Kamba heard it, he was like, yo, this is crazy. Yo, Stink, say yo, hi. Skin color cool, cool, slow. T3, too late. Bloody Mary, like South the Guard, Sip V8. Cash crop, pivot, and grind, prime, meridian. Your entourage, get Charles Bronson, top ten in them. And to communicate with the suffering, suffering. A cloud of smoke, thick as the heat we assimilate. No debate, came, keep it fat like elephant weight. Never mind it if you prepare for things you insinuate. Out in Spain, sending your rose home now. I'm understanding America, the beautiful touchdown. We, we landed. landed. Back to the bills, the yeah. thrills. Convey, court, cobalt, the boy dressed to ill. Conquest, we rep the opposite of Congress. AG stepping up the bat, out the park with HGH profit, Roddy corner the market. Talking about that low budget bull, uh, ish, we on yeah. it. Al Green, Beret, Master. The K, bread the ball, it's time to get major play. Off the bench, teardrop, ace the tray. It's on to the fat lady, sing amazing grace. <laughs> and I'm crazy. That the skies will accept my taste. And the lies is enough for the press to yep. set fire. It's nothing to investigate. We infinite, lean sideways off of eight. Calibrate like critically tape, sister, your cane. Looking finger like it's your Yeah, yo, yeah. so, so listen. This is, this is incredible. Like, and you're I'll absolutely right. right. Because, Master because, check. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So amazing because um, you're right. Because when 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 the rhymes are over it, you know, it makes a little um, more sense. Yes, it does. Now I heard when you listen to the beat by itself. You're like, what? What? Wait a minute. Where, where's the pattern? Like, were these records influ- influenced by a trip to Africa? Ha! <laughs> you saw the YouTube video. I did not. Oh, what? Okay, you just like a Jedi Knight. You just like. Eddie's the hip hop Nardwar, <laughs> Professor X out here. Because I do my I do my research, but I I heard that there there were maybe um, the majority of these uh, the inspiration behind these beats um, was uh, he laughs because With the Wakanda son <laughs> because a uh, 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 Kev Wakanda Brown Bible. went to Africa and and then came back with the battery pause in his pause back, like yep. It was real. Yeah. That was real. Like, I, I mean, where did you hear that from? Because it's literally on YouTube. There's a there's a promo video. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, trust me. I was wow. not. I, I didn't have enough time. Professor I, I X kept out here. Son. Word, word to my nana. You got magic powers. That's um, cool. I did get. I get. The, I got the source from somebody. Okay. But, but I did not go on YouTube. Somebody saw the video and told you that. Right. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, you know, I mean, shit. I've never been to the motherland, but uh, you know, that'd be crazy. Yeah. But uh, shout out to um DJ Ken Zero. Um, he was the um, promoter that brought us out. It was it was um, we went out there twice. We went to out South Africa twice. Um, right. and, uh, and 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 to put it in context for 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 our listeners, mm-hmm. um, this this was the Al Green um project. Um, by, Alexander Green project. Yeah, mm-hmm. his real name was Al Green. Well, yeah, basically, yeah. But yeah, his like, rap, his his MC name was a uh, Camber, K A I M B R. Camber. That's right. That's right. But real King, name Al King, Green. King of Law Islam acronym. You know what I mean? He got the God Body acronym on the joint. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Uh, Master was it? Came, came King of Law Islam Master. I can't yeah. re- I can't remember the whole attribute, you know what I mean? Peace to the gods though, word up. Cut the talk back over. Come on. Yeah, 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 Shout yeah. out yeah. rap lover. Yeah, yeah. Was this a four track joint? Nah, that was we recorded this at Touch of Jazz. Or like in the in the A room. Okay. The, like, a nice like it was a nice warm it was a board, you know what I mean? Check it out. Yeah. I rock beats to rhymes to defeat the weak designs. Infiltrate strongholds of the enemy with the remedy. Feel the energy from the crowds I interact with. Blacksmith with more styles than sax fifth. Cactus shark, black like after dark. Came with grab the spark, the raps are sharp. They must be, wouldn't have it the opposite. Trying to get dough lottery flipped. Yeah, yeah. 
I suppose that you plan to oppose the mm-hmm. rhyme. Shout out to Grab Lover too. That was that was recorded at uh, a touch of jazz. Shout out to Jazzy Jeff. Like seriously, one of my favorite joints, man, is might be one of your most simplistic joints ever, man. It was on the homework uh album. Oh, okay. And um and I believe because because you were on some bragging album. Word. Yo, I love that album. Thanks. Man. Um, and it was homework part two. Wow. This my shit. Yo, lucky I don't even want to do this. No substitutes, but y'all students. All y'all stupid. Up Fucking with Kev. Kev. Always something in the oven with Kev. Kev. Talking in third person, but no purpose. Life like a glass house. With oh no my purpose. god. Rap flow so cold, so turn up the furnace. Classic joints that mean to sound perfect. Hurting them. Take your order down, straight serving them. Just to show men I'm superb with the pen. Up in the class like I'm a nerd with the pen. I bet you they won't bully this nerd again. again. <laughs> Run that back real quick, react. Check it out, y'all. You know why this is great? Because Kev, this is a oh, blind man. lesson for me. Enjoy. I'm glad you. So like I, I'm glad I never heard this shit before. Oh so man, I'm, salute. I'm, yeah, That's it, fire. It's, bro, it's very. Bro. Hold on, react. It's it's very simplistic, but you got first of all, you got the the wah 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 and uh, I was listening to it. I was like, yo, it ain't, the beats is good, but like the way I said the rhymes ain't right. And then I went back and recorded all the vocals over again and everything fell into place. Oh you know my saying? God. The flyest line. I bet you I won't bully this nerd again. Oh man, <laughs> give thanks, give thanks. And that's uh, DJ John Doe on the cuts. Big salute. Lucky I don't even want to do this. No substitutes, but y'all students. All y'all stupid. Oven with Kev. Always something in the oven with Kev. Talking in third person, but no purpose. Life like a glass house with no curtains. Rap flow so cold, so turn up the furnace. Classic joints that mean to sound perfect. Hurting them. Take your order down, straight serving them. Just to show men I'm superb with the pen. Up in the class like I'm a nerd with the pen. I bet you they won't bully this nerd again. again. Uh, check it out, y'all. Uh, still doing it. Won't ruin it. Got the magic touch. Leave them on crutch. Hit you with the rap. Rap such and such. Ever since back in the day, the beats on crush. Albany joint, the chicks all blush. Use the MPC as a brush. No canvas. The champ is here in the ring dancing. Yeah. Who won't what to win where? So no fair. So I'm awake now, oh, Kev. Man. Yo, this is what it's all about. A, a mother, f- we in the, we in the presence of greatness. It, in the presence of presence of greatness, people. Now, now, real quick, yeah. man, react. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incredible. It's incredible. Just, just go and cop all Kev's catalog, people. Oh, thanks, man. Period. And and I tr- trust me, there is n- it's all all superior. This Halloween thought word up.
This shit's crazy too. Man, all that shit is crazy. Kevin, thanks, yo. Kev Brown is a motherfucking man. animal. Big thing. Trust man. me. Like, yeah. Salute to the the sample sources. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Sample sources is uh, you know what I mean? Hey, the, they're, it, they're, it wouldn't be dope if you know it wasn't like something dope to you know raw material to work with. You know what I mean? There is a rumor out there that. At a Beat Society joint mm -hmm. in in NYC, okay, I believe that it was in honor of uh the late Sean Price. Mm -hmm. Everybody were playing remixes. Mm -hmm. I think um large professor this was in Brooklyn were right. Big um, shout out, yo, no doubt. I heard. I mean, your your set was so fire. Oh man, that the great. <laughs> Large Pro stopped it in the middle and was like, "Yo, people, are, are you witnessing what the fuck is going on here? Is that true?" Yo, salute to Large Professor. Yes, this is true. I wish uh, I had it. I wish I had a copy of it on audio or like video, because it was like, you know what I mean? Like at a certain point, <laughs> Large Professor got up and was like, "Yo." Give it up for Kev Brett. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, extra I was just in like, the show, just regular like everybody else. But he was like, yeah. yo, give it up. Like, and, and Lars Professor, when he was playing beats, he had the 1,000 on stage. Ooh. And he was hitting the, when he, you know how cats be like hitting the drum pads, like boom, 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 tap. When he was doing that, it was shaking the whole room. He was like, boom, 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 boom. Tap, 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 tap. I was like, God damn. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he was rocking. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, his joints was crazy, yo. Yo, he, extra P is like, like oh. for him to say that, you know what I mean? Big salute, yeah. man. Like, I, oh, I, I got a God, lot of props man. from from OG cats, and it's always like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, Kev, you, you, you're one of the illest. Ever, yo, big thanks, man. Stamp in history. Still, I'm still trying. I'm still you, trying to. No, nah, you doing, I'm man? Still you working birthed, on it. You birthed the whole movement. I believe you birthed the whole man. You mm -hmm. and along with other cats from the the DMV. Yeah, you got to shout out. You know, like you said, people. Yeah, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. It's um, it's mad people before I was even you know out right. here like Asheru. Shout out to Asher. Uh, 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 unspoken heard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Yeah. Um. 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 Priest the Nomad. Um. Right. Um. Um. Storm the Unpredictable. Now you uh, you talk about that's, MCs, yeah, that's, right? That's cats from like the DMV area. That's before right. It was called the DMV area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, salute, salute. Like, Pressing their own records up and doing their own stuff. Yo, Asheru is the Boondocks theme song. For those that don't know, that's Asheru. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh shit! Word. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Word but when up. it comes when it comes to them beats, man, like, Word, so we'll like, oh, we oh man, more joints, joints, Word. You got it. When was this done, B? Oh man, this was um I guess this is like around 2019. Um oh, this I is made wonderful. this whole project. This the un this is called Untitled. I didn't have a title for it, so I just called it Untitled. Yeah. Like a picture oh. of my face on it. I'm looking like George Jefferson with no yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. I got the joy. I got the you know what I mean, the George yeah, But Jefferson you know what? It, like I'm glad you mentioned that because because I, I had jokes and I was like uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I should ask I mean, this hey, man, I don't, but he was like it, you know but, but your shit was fly out here, you know? no your shit was fly you you really had the George Jefferson and yeah, you, you, that it, was like a, a expression of like I, I'm smiling and mm -hmm. I got my eyes closed and I'm like I'm just like you know what I mean to just I love like, that picture Yo, I'm free and I'm you know yeah did you make a t-shirt of that because I need that yes official official kevbrown.com Oh yes, I am. I am. I am so buying that logo on the back there. You know what I mean? Yeah, back there. Officialkevbrown dot com. I got mad t shirts and I got some hey. socks. You know what I mean? You want some Kev Brown socks? I got all. Of them. I get a little giddy when it when it comes to my favorites, and you and you. I'm well, not 
no okay. cap truly one of my favorites man um there was Thanks, a period bro. of time and i don't and i don't know if you remember you said i'm done yes with this shit I said that and a you couple purged times. you purged your whole catalog and you sent me you just sent me an, an, an like, like anybody hit me in the dm um and i'm thinking that you're gonna send a couple albums or whatever you sent me about 299 <laughs> joints well, i think that was it in that folder yeah, and you said i'm song. done i i don't want to do this no more you were done you quit mm -hmm. that's yeah, true right i quit i was i was on linkedin i was like trying to find i made a resume Mm -hmm. And I was just trying to find a regular job and shit. You know what I mean? Like I was, but then I I came back to it because I was like, I'm not good at nothing else. You know what I mean? Like I'm right. I've been doing this too long. Did, did you like, even think about to, like, um change my strategy of of doing it? You know what I mean? Right. But when I saw that man, oh, by the way, I was very happy that you sent me all your stuff. Were <laughs> you, no said, doubt. you? You literally you said yeah. I was like this. This motherfucker's bullshit, mm. and then all of a sudden, in a in a big ass folder, it was your whole catalog. You sent your whole catalog, man. Like I was just like, okay, what is going on? Like, what brought you to that point? Well, I'm thinking. You, I think you're talking about around like maybe 2000. Hmm, is this 2019? Yes, it was. It, it, it was, was definitely the right before the pandemic. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I had some, uh, I had a falling out with a record label. Um, okay. And uh, it wasn't just that. I had a falling out with like friends. And it was like a, it was happening on all, you know, all different types of levels. Uh, yeah. A lot of negative stuff was happening. And I was like, yo, I remember like. Is that the label that, that, that uh put out the grit with you and Hassan? No, nah, that's a whole nother story. I mean, <laughs> surprise, surprise, uh, uh, record labels haven't, uh, you know, been the best to me uh, for the yeah. overall. I, I don't have a lot to, bad to say about everybody, but, you know, problems happen and, yeah, you know, things happen. Um, I'm stories. not, I'm not like De La Soul, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't that bad. Like, I, I listen to other people's stories and like, mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, you got the Slick Rick first record <sighs> contract. You know what I mean? Like, cats oh, be getting God. super got out here. Um, yeah. So I, I don't feel like I ever got got like that. But, you know, cats be trying to get over on, you know, um, mm -hmm. and uh, be holding out money and things like that. Anyway. Mm -hmm. It was just, that's why the joint with my face on it with the George Jefferson, that's where that came from. Because it was like, mm -hmm. yo, I, I wasn't on a record label at that time. Mm -hmm. And because uh, the fallout had happened and I was like, like just doing stuff, just doing it. You know what I mean? Like doing it myself yeah. with no label and just putting it out. I wanted to show cats like, yo, I don't need a, a record label to you don't. put music out. Like you're not, I'm still going to do this. Like. And then yeah. I proceeded to drop like 10 albums for like two years. You know what I'm saying? Like I dropped That's five right. albums in 2018. I dropped like 10 albums like the next two years. So like yeah. this year I kind of took a break. You know what I mean? This latest project, yeah. by the way, people, he just Great released. King. Word up. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the King Kev album. King Kev. Um, with a... Uh, it was a jazz musician, right? Yes, Dre King. D D Dre uh, King. DeAndre, DeAndre Dre King Schaefer. Yeah. That's right. Um, Salute. He's a professor I'll, up at UDC also. He teaches music also. Oh, my God. He's real. He's real deal. Seven joints, mm -hmm. but just very amazing. Kev, you've been consistent. Like, I have never heard a Kev be wow, Brown you. beat or verse that I'm just like, all right, nah, this mm -hmm. is... No, it's always been in pocket, wow. and um, right. and I sometimes I feel like simplicity is best. Like just raw, that raw grit. This uh latest project, by the way, before be, even before that, mm -hmm. no disrespect, you released something with uh Daru. 
Daru Jones. <laughs> Which uh, I love Daru Jones. Word. Funky on um, Ill, Ill, Ill musician. Uh, one, of, one of the greatest drummers, I believe, will go down as one of the greatest drummers um, years to come. You Grammy know, that whole, award winning. Word up. That's right. Grammy award winning in that whole pot with, um, you know, uh, Robert Glaspers and, you know, um, yes. your Terrace Martins. He's in there. Word up. But you guys collabed. Yes. We can play the joint. There you yeah. go. Shout out to Eddie Sancho on the mix. Yeah. Oh, the great Eddie Sancho. That's right. It don't get no raw in this. This is the, the true essence of uh, of, of boom bap hip hop. Amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. Shout out to Daru, wow, that's the great cool. Eddie Sancho. Word so, 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 getting to the project that you just released, yes, oh, a week ago, yeah, last Friday, yeah, week ago. last Friday, yeah, King Kev, not even a week. That's right. Word. First Word. of all, shouts to Slim Cat, the yes. seventy eight er with the artwork. Yo, it's Slim cool. Cat seventy eight, super nice, super nice with the beats too. Yes, and I'm glad, you know that. That I'm glad you know that. Glad you know. Oh, of course I do, man. I know the whole city. The the seventy eight er crew, I know. Yes, yes. (laughs) Why why uh, use my little why you, yes. That's bro. We me and uh, me and why you collaborate. That album is crazy. The the why you slim cat album? Yo, the seventy eighters? Yo. Crazy. Yeah. Why you is you know what I mean? Super MC. Super oh, wow. MC, <laughs> like he's definition of a super MC. Like he'll make you throw your stuff away. Like, like oh, what are you like? You react. What are you doing? Like you know what I mean? Like you, what are you writing? And like, you your get, pen is crazy. Like you're getting it, you, and you're getting it from one of the gods himself, Kev Brown. Like wh- yo, why you? That's why I'm so. Yo, he's I'm super so... MC. I, but I, I don't even look at. That's like my <laughs> man's. You know what I mean? Like that's like. You know what I mean? Like. But ever but since I know him, he been nice. Yeah, but I mean, all I, y'all, I ain't had nothing to do with why you being nice. <laughs> why you was nice when I met him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Slim Cat was nice when I met him. Like everybody yeah. was already nice when I met him. It's just like adding the beats in with my with them. You know what I mean? Like it just like yeah. made everything good. You know what I mean? Nah, they but they look they look up to you, man. Me and why you? Why you, why you got a couple? Too. He got beats. Oh, of course he do. Yeah, nice hey. with it. He, he made nice some beats with, with the Dre King joints too. Go on his Ooh. Instagram and listen to the joints he made with the Dre King joints. You know what I mean? Yeah. I almost lost my train of thought, but uh so so shouts to uh Slim Cat. The artwork is crazy. It's crazy. And 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 trust me, Slim, I'm gonna hit you up because man, I need some shit. Yeah. Man. Anyway, um and he just hit me up out of like I sent him the album. I sent him mm-hmm. the like the original, like raw version of the album. Yeah. He was like, yo, I want to do the cover. You know what I mean? Ooh. I was like, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Crazy. I didn't even have a title for the album yet. Yeah. And he was like, yo, I want to do the cover. Like early, early in the game. Man. Up, shout out to Slim Cat. And he crushed it. That It's like a he Frankenstein. Did. It's like my face and, his, and Dre's face put together. Like it's an art piece. It's crazy. Yo, he made this, a this literal shit is art. amazing. No, it is. It is. It is, man. You just um, frame that and put that in the museum. You have to. Um, um, so speak to how how um, this project, the King Kev project, came to be. King Kev, like it just came, literally came from Dre was doing these. I guess during the pandemic, he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna start doing sample packs," and he's playing. You know what I mean? He's a real he a real musician so it's yeah, like yeah. he playing like he's not just dropping like your usual like sample pack joints where 
It's just a, a nigga over here like ding 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 ding. It ain't it ain't like right. that. He's dropping like, yo, this pack is the Herbie Hancock pack. Yo, <laughs> who's who's <laughs> dropping Herbie Hancock packs? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and it's yeah. intricate. It's you know what I mean? With the, it got vocorders and and he got the horn pack where he like like he hitting all the horn like he's really playing the stuff. So Aww. it's basically like sampling records anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, because it's just soulful stuff and, and jazzy, soulful type stuff. So, mm-hmm. boom. Like, I, I I made, he would just, whenever he would drop a new joint, he would just send me the pack for free. And I would just, like, make beats out of it. I would, like, go live on Twitch. You know what I mean? And yeah. be, like, making beats. Yo, shout out to Dre King. You know what I mean? And then yeah. I just had a bunch of beats after a while. And I was like, you know what? I'm a you know, put this, mm-hmm. maybe put a little project out with it. And I hit him up and I sent them the beats and I was like, yo, you know, I don't, at the same time, it was like, like with, with Slim Cat, I was like, I don't have a title yet, but I want to, I'm going to put these out and, you know, get it cracking, da, 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 da. He was like, mm-hmm. yeah, that'd be tight, da, 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 da. And he played keys on, if you listen on Random Joints, I got a project called Random Joints and it's a song called the Hennessy Joint. Yeah, He's playing the keys that's Dre King, like the the little Wurlitzer and the Fender Rose, the little lush sounds on top. Ooh. That's that's Dre King on that too. So back then, I known Dre King a long time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he used to be on the, in this group called the Young Lions. They would perform on U Street at this club called Nima. Like on some real jazz, like boop 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 like boop 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 Uh, 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 let's go. Good absolute Drake King. I'm sure you get them Drake King uh, progression uh, sample kits. Yeah. They're still on sale now. This shit. Seven joints and, and it's these records. Seven joints of heat. Oh, it is. It's it's wonderful, man. It's wonderful, man. Man. Drake King. This is this has been this has been absolutely, man, wonderful. Kev. You are above and beyond like a, a good dude, a gentleman, man. Yeah, you you are for the culture. React. React is out here. React is for the culture. He, he you know, he, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wu-Tang for the kids, you know what I mean? Oh, React for, for the sure. kids, Jack. I mean, he up here <laughs> doing double duty. He out here got the kids and doing the podcast. A- any advice to, to young beat makers moving forward? Um, um, Just, you know, just keep having fun making beats. Um, You know, if people not checking for you, just keep going. Cause it don't happen all you know overnight. Keep going, yeah. and uh, just listen to all types of music. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. put your joint on shuffle. You know what I mean? Like, listen to everything: classical music, all types. Of, you know what I mean? Folk music, rock mm-hmm. music, soul music, everything, and uh, movie soundtracks, all that. Like, listen to everything, and just get yeah. the influence from that. And you know, just you know what I mean? Listen to Mad mm-hmm. P. Quincy Jones and. You know what I mean? David Axelrod. Listen, go back and listen to mad stuff and just, right. just soak that influence in, pause, and, and yeah. you know what I mean? And and make that come through your music, pause. That's you know right. I mean? Like for Men Plus, for the, I put the pause on there. You know <laughs> it's going to yeah. age, it's going to age well. That's the theme, that's the theme on here. Music, I, we, we bringing people on that the music is going to age well and, and it definitely is man for years to come man the rhymes the beats um just the inspiration um the grit Word. everything man so 
once again, man, thank you for coming thank on you, Chop Shop, man. man. I appreciate you. We love you, brother. For Thanks, real, man. Love, love, much love. Appreciate right, you. Big thanks. Oh, yo. Check it. Oh. Bring the soul back, bring the soul glow back, bring the flow back. Sean Born sent me the beat, give me that. Wishing for my downfall, here's your penny back. Does he ever drop any whack? Never, no, never. I bring the best out of the best, but still better. Nice with the rhyme, the beats like Beretta. Not the gap, but the TV show, I'm too meta. These rap dudes is too regular. Blah, 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 etc. Extinction agenda for pretenders. And the Oscar goes to all your characters. Address me as Mr. Brown, don't get it twisted up. 12 on the Richter. That's right. They must got me mixed up. Salute with your wrist up. What? Hurting them. You know what I mean? We out here hurting them. That's what we doing. You know what I mean? Uh, yo. Yeah. 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 Y